Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Sense8 Security Lite camera. They did reach out and send me this product, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. I just want to be able to unbox this and set it up and review it for you all on my channel here today. If you're interested in this product, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, do your shopping from there. Here's how it's going to come packaged to you in a nice retail box with great product photography and a quick overview of tech specs. Let's talk about those for a second. So we're gonna have a 1080p full HD camera with 140 degree field of view. It's got four times digital zoom, two way audio, which means it's gonna have a microphone and a speaker on the device so we can communicate with somebody on the other end. Has a siren speaker, um, it says high sensitivity microphone, eight gigabytes built in memory, can work with cloud storage as well to view this in real time. It's an 800 lumen LED light, so we'll be sure to check that out and test that out and see how bright that really is. It's gonna come with a user guide, screws, anchors, an extension cable, the power adapter, and it works on iOS and Android devices on 2.4 gigahertz networks. Remember that, 2.4 gigahertz networks, not your 5G network. So let's go ahead now and open it up. Here are all the package contents. We got a user guide right here we can look at really quick. It's gonna show you what's in the box, how to set up the camera. It's got really nice diagrams showing you how to connect to the App Store as well. So you wanna reference that if you need it. We got a power supply with a three meter, so that's roughly nine to 10 foot cable right there with another three meter extension cable right here. You got three screws and three wall anchors. You have this really nice template to mount the camera, so be sure to use that when you're setting this up. And the actual camera itself. Everything looks great, nice plastic cover on here, looks really durable, really lightweight, so it should mount just about anywhere. We can see the light, the camera, your motion sensor right there, we got the microphone and your speaker on the back. You have your 12 volt DC power connector right here to snap into the power supply with a nice grommet seal as well to make sure it's gonna be water resistant for you. You have this swivel stand so you can adjust the camera however you want to position it and get it in the right spot for your needs. Now on your iOS or Android device, go ahead, download the Sense8 app from your app store and we'll come back here and we'll set everything up. So I got the camera plugged into a power supply. There's a green blinking LED light on it. I went ahead, downloaded the Sense8 app. You can do it to iOS or Android. You have to create an account, just use an email and a password and you'll be all set up. You'll be at this page. Now we need to add a camera. So let's go ahead, hit that plus button in the top right corner and select our product. It's the Sense8 light camera. Now let's go ahead and add that. It's going to ask us to confirm our location. Plug in the can to the power outlet and it'll turn on automatically. Check. Is there a green light blinking? Check. Now we're going to enter our Wi-Fi password. Make sure you're on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Now we're gonna position the phone close to the side of the camera and then hit next. All right, so the device just Sense paired. Eight has been connected to your home Wi-Fi network. There we go, so setup was successful. Now guys, in case you're wondering, this is probably the third or fourth time I tried to set this device up. I did not have any luck. I would make it past that stage and then it would not connect to my wireless network. I tried getting the camera closer to the router. None of that worked. What I had to do in the end is there's a little um, reset button down here and I have one of these little SIM card pushing pins and so you have to insert it right in there and there's a little button you can hear click. So you don't need to force it. I really pushed mine the first couple times. So I think there's, I'm gonna guess maybe some rubber grommet seal or something in there too. So you don't wanna damage that. There's just a little button. It'll make a little clicking noise. You just gotta push it a couple times. Then to reset it, it'll start blinking green. So after the reset, it worked just fine. So that was really nice. Now we can go ahead and name the device whatever we want. So let's just name it Sense8 Light K. 
Okay, and then you can label it if you want. It's successful, now we need to update some firmware. All right, everything has been updated. We can hit OK. Now we can go to the Test camera. has been connected to your home Wi-Fi network. Thank you for that. Now we can go ahead and go into the camera within the app right here. So we're going to go under Sense8 Light. So we can click on it. There is the current feed right now from my studio looking out to the camera. So there is the camera here. Everything looks great, so we can adjust this to 1080 if we want. We can do full screen in the bottom right corner. We can take a screen grab really quick. Right there, a snapshot. And we go to the left icon, just the photo. You can review your photos. So from this screen, it looks like we're also able to use an alarm feature. Do you want the siren? We can mute that. There's a microphone to be able to talk. And then there's the audio to be able to listen. Microphone sounds really good. I can hear myself just fine with that audio feature. And then it's got two-way audio, so we can talk into it as well. We'll go ahead and do that now. Hey, just checking the microphone and audio quality from the speaker. Everything, Everything sounds, sounds really, really good. good. It looks really, really nice. Really nice. So, so, really happy with that. Happy with that. Sorry about, the, Sorry feedback. about the feedback. So, the audio microphone quality was great. Really happy with that. You won't have any feedback once you leave the room and you're away from the device. Now, let's go back into some more of the other settings. We'll go, there's connected, obviously you can see the signal strength. There's a motion zone. So if you see that little picture icon right there, we can go into it, but it'll take us into full screen. You can basically add a new zone for your camera and drag and save it. And that'll just only trigger in those specific areas. Then we have your device information right here. So there's about, we'll go back into that. There's about 6.3, 6.35 gigabytes of available storage which is nice that that's built in. Now we'll go on the right, here's your settings, you got your owner, you can turn the alarm on right now, it'll be really loud if I do. Um, so I'll go ahead and just do it for one second. Super loud. Then we have your light, so you can turn the light on or off. So we have the light on, it's in automatic mode to trigger overnight. You could change that to dawn to dusk mode if you want, or you can have it always on, there it is. Really bright, really a nice, light you can drag and drop the brightness so that's full brightness which is really bright i don't really want to look at it definitely will light up a front porch a side of the garage a doorway any of that there's about halfway for brightness and then there's the lowest brightness and then the light will turn off 30 seconds one minute two minutes or three minutes so we'll go back to automatic mode and go check out the next setting so device name Here's the modes if you want to arm, disarm, schedule, or auto arm. So obviously we can arm the device right now, we can disarm it, or we can set a schedule Monday through Friday throughout the week if you want, because you're at work, they have a default one, or you can add whatever you want. The door icons when you leave and the house icons when you come home. You can start it, stop it, and you can pick all the days and whatever time and repeat it. So that's nice for the schedule. Let's go ahead and quit that one. Auto arm is a feature where it uses the GPS in your phone to realize if you're away from home, it'll auto trigger that or auto arm it. So really clever naming right there. I believe it's roughly around a half a mile or so away from your GPS coordinates is when it'll trigger that. So we can go in there right now. It'll show us a Google map and when we're home or when we're away. Here's motion sensitivity to adjust depending on um, what you want or maybe how highly trafficked the area where your camera is going to be. You can send alert notifications or you can send alert and turn on sirens. So that's pretty neat. The next one we have, you can update the device location. You could update the device Wi-Fi. There's the firmware. You can choose what sound you want. So let's see. We have sound one, which we just heard. Let's see if we can hear sound two. And there's sound three. So we'll leave it on sound two for now. And then here's the resolution you can adjust again. 
So we could put that at 1080p, or you can go even lower, and the lower you go, the more you'll be able to store on your camera locally. You can remove the device if you want to. So that's basically all of its features right there. It just records live events for you in motion trigger something, it records it and stores it locally, and then it'll update it within the app. Or you can just use this as a live feeding camera to be able to check in real time on your house, your pets, your car, whatever you want to protect. So let's go back to this main screen for a minute. Let me show you how you can link this with your um, Dropbox or Google Drive accounts too if you want more storage. We're gonna go over to the bottom right corner. There's the me. You can share this device with anybody if you want. You can look at your, cap, your account. Here's the cloud storage option. You can link it to Dropbox. Just tap that and you're good to go. Link it to Google Drive. Tap that, you're good to go. Or you can unlink it from your account. They have a store, they have a help center if you have any questions or concerns. You have an about section and a settings tab. So here's the events category, but we have nothing saved from this camera so far since we just got it out and we're able to set it up. So what's nice, you can go straight into the light setting right here and to your modes. So that's really neat, really flexible, easy to use. You can see I have another product from Sense8 already set up as well. So be sure to check out that video as well as I unbox and review their security system. It's really awesome, has a lot of great climate monitoring and I'm really impressed with it. Obviously these two pair together like you see in the app so you could use both of them to protect your house. So that was just a really quick overview and setup of this camera. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me with any questions, comments, or concerns. I'd be happy to answer them for you or point you in the right direction. If you could go ahead and hit that like button for me, hit that subscribe button. I want you guys to be around my channel for a long time. I really value you all being here. Follow me on social media as well, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message me on WeChat. You can check out my website. You can join my newsletter. I love interacting with you all. So thank you again so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing you 